I'd seen it and I thought, well, you know what, why not? I'll give it a shot, see how it goes. Started the course and yeah, it's been great since then. It's helped me out a lot. It's kept me out of trouble. It's given me a lot of opportunities. I'm in work full time. I knew I was working towards a goal and a lot of the tutors, when they came in, they kept in reassuring me what it was like on the railways, understanding that people are not going to care about my past. That was never going to be a thing, never going to be featured. And that's what gave me really good faith that I could turn it all around. What's it like being back, Well, it feels better coming back as a, as not a prisoner. <laughs> as a prisoner, <laughs> As a prisoner, <laughs> I, I can walk out the gate. Yeah, I mean, when you lot walk right. out the gate. Obviously, there was a lot of us in the class. Not everybody decided to stick to it. Those that did, I don't know about you, but for me, I appreciate it. You know? I appreciate it's it, the... yeah. It's, it's, to be honest with you, the train have been a, a lot of help. Yeah, yeah. So they haven't just left you in the lurch. They're trying to get you worse. They're yeah. not just saying, right, you've been released, you've nothing to do with us now, we've done the course. Proper help. They've been to me anyway. Yeah, yeah. So the programme works because there's support within the prison. And then upon release, there's a lot of support within the community from city and guilds. And that wraparound support has been integral to making sure that the men harness their opportunity upon release. We've offered it around the prison estate and we've been lucky enough to receive a few from HMP Belmarsh and we are completing training with prisoners from HMP Hollisley Bay. Obviously to achieve what we want to achieve we'll obviously need more funding, more employers to come on board with the projects, equipment. Without this the project won't further expand and the opportunity won't be developing like it has done. We want to be the go-to centre of excellence for rail in HMPPS. For me it's like being home. This here is it's like proper work turn my life around, live a better lifestyle than what I did in the past. One of the best courses you, you can think of is so many different angles that you can go into. You haven't got to deal with trying to find employment for when you get out. Trainers and staff in this prison have been like a God blessing for me in a sense. I've had nothing. I've come here, the good, the interact, they don't treat you like a prisoner, they treat you as a work colleague. That's what, the course in itself was like that for me. It wasn't like, I was coming here to do a course, it was like you was going to work. Well, it's hope for the future as well, isn't it? I've never had that before. Employment on release for HMPPS is massive. This project helps us and is one of the only ones with, with guaranteed employment. That should be the marker for all projects, as well as being a benefit to the wider community. There's also a massive cost benefit to employers. The rates of retention from this training course alone are in the 70% and that doesn't happen in normal business outside, let alone prisoners leaving and working in the community. We have these guys come out of prison and they're fully skilled. They're ready to go and they can start work. I think people expect the guys to come out of prison and be not so interested, but they want to change their lives. So they're probably the most eager. We're never getting 12 people at once. We're getting two or three a month maybe. So it's easy to integrate them into our current gangs. You hear the stories of guys who just don't have a choice. They, they can't get a job, so they re-offend. The support network that City and Guilds give them means that we stop people going back to prison. Every prison should get involved in a project like this. Of what it does for people when they come out, the confidence that it gives them. There's a lot more opportunities for what you can do on the track. It's not just what you start off and learn in, in here and what they give you the opportunity to do, it's what you can progress to after. Given that opportunity to you know, stay away from trouble and not having to go and be a friend for the sake of money, it all comes down to job opportunities and lack of it. In the railway, that gets overlooked. They don't care, they know that there's a lot of people that are friends and they know that a lot of people that want to change their lives. Getting the skills that I needed to get onto the railway, it gave me the opportunity to get straight into work upon leaving prison. It just totally minimised the possibility of me going back and re-offending. In my 34 and a half years, this is the most significant introduction of learning and skills delivery that I've seen. Right now, we've got a job, we've got money coming in. We haven't got that sort of worry that we had when we was getting released. Also, it's good to see that I'm with somebody that, you know, I started the course with and actually he's doing very well. You know, he's, he's, he's moving up the ranks, he's getting, I think, got your wire or whatnot, yeah. wherever you are. You know, I've got my cards coming up and that. It's looking bright, it's looking, huh? The future's looking great. The future's looking bright. Mm. It's looking orange. <laughs> it's looking bright. <laughs>